consistency mm. and then just couldn't catch up with it. Oh, so we don't uh, we don't know, but there's a feeling Baez might swing at the. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, Javi Baez knows exactly who he's facing. They're brothers in law, best men in a wedding. So look, there's a deep relationship between these two. Javi takes a strike one and one. And they've got a little bit of a competition going also. I asked Jose about that the first time he faced him back in June. He said, I want bragging rights when we have family get togethers. Well, Javi down the left field line, and this is foul, just foul. Jose got him the last time. He was 0 for 3 with a punch out in that game. Jose pitched eight innings and gave up just one run. Really had Baez confused on his breaking ball. Yeah, he's thrown a couple of fastballs, one on the outside part of the plate, one on the inside part of the plate. I think he's got him set up for that big curveball out off the plate, and that's one that Baez earlier in the season was really chasing. He's gotten a little bit better, but I think that's what we'll see right here is that, that curveball off the plate. He was swinging at everything the yeah. last time the Blue Jays yeah. faced him. One and two. Baez hits a high drive down the left field line toward the pole again and foul again. Wow. Yeah, Javi is out in front of the plate. Uh, he's begging. He's begging right now for that ball to be called fair. You can see it. It's in the fifth deck. Not a lot of people go up there. He's got the power. Don't throw him a strike now. Don't throw him a strike. No, don't throw him two strikes. I mean, <laughs> that's that's why you want to stay off the plate with that bender. I would say Barrios, the best man in Javi Baez's wedding, and there is a breaking ball, two and two. They're brothers-in-law. It's a great friendship, but man, I, it, the closest friend you guys faced. Did you have one of these situations? I'm trying to win. I, I don't know about you, Dan, but I'm trying to win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm competing, friend or not, we can be friends outside the field. To left field again for Baez. Did he straighten it out enough? This one is foul. Hobby, what, what are you doing, buddy? For real, for loving smiling, it. yeah. That's three possible home runs that have twisted foul in just about the same place. Bragging rights for foul balls don't count. I mean, wow. So he's going to try the right side and foul it away. This is a great at bat between two very close friends. You know what? He's got him in swing mode right now. He's got to throw him something off speed. He's yeah. got to get him out yeah. in front on that front foot. He's got him in swing mode. He's swinging at everything. But this is this is what Javi has done recently is shorten things up to recognize pitches. Inside and low, he's so caught up in it, that's ball three. <laughs> yeah. He didn't know it was not ball four. He's so caught up in the rivalry, he lost the count. And that's how much he likes playing the game. He doesn't get caught up no. in the, you know, just, hey, I'm just up here looking for the ball, swinging as hard as I can. A couple of loud foul balls, but okay, you know, Mickey loves it. Mickey said, you know, oh, man, he doesn't. That's a hobby being a hobby. Hey, let's be clear. He doesn't want to walk either. No, no. He wants to do some damage. Three and two. Baez takes ball four. Borderline Barrios thought he had him, and he just missed. See that? That's the glory of baseball in one at bat, right? Two guys that want so badly to beat one another. They're close friends, and it's this margin. I guarantee you a month ago he swings Absolutely. at that. Absolutely, but that's what he's done in the last month is just. Get the team better, just uh, trying to see, you know, some pitcher's gimmicks or darn it. Did he this time? Deep to right field, and it is out of here. Javi Baez decided the pull side wasn't doing it for him. And uh, Alec, Thanksgiving dinner just changed. Yep. <laughs> So does does Baez have to buy Thanksgiving dinner now, or he has to cook it? Yeah, I think he's got to cook it. <laughs> I think totally it's on him. I think you're onto something. <laughs> he's going to celebrate. He's going to host it. He's like, hey, you homered off me, so now you're in charge of buying Thanksgiving dinner for the whole family. Man. Uh, Barrios 
looked like a pitch over the middle of the plate, and you're right. The pull side didn't get it. That shows you the type of power that he has the other way. Without a doubt, cuts it through the wind for the home run. Number 10. Alec, I, I got to 